Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol TEVA. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So, all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time, Franklin does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation, it makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. That question revolves around the fact that today the price made a very impressive bounce. I mean, when you consider where the price was at the opening part of the day, all the way down there, and then all of a sudden by the time the closing bell rang, the price managed to get up there. Any rational person would say, yeah, the, the price certainly did make a very nice bounce on the day. But that does lead to the valid question now of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, you know, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make mapping out that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area. And that area is down here at $6.95. Why is $6.95 important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with genuine power, with true strength, the price is going to progress forward. The price is not going to go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about $6.95. If the price were to come down here and then just continue on down, from a very literal perspective, what would that be doing to the price? That would be putting the price right back to where it was during these areas when it was flirting with those lows. And again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price came down here, however in this situation behaved like that and then started to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this scenario? Well, you'd have lows right there, you'd have those lows down there if you envision each of those as stair steps. Well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction and again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And again, in this situation, quote unquote progress being defined as 695. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, near term level to keep an eye on is gonna be that purple line there, the famous 50 period simple moving average. You can see that is right, essentially where the price got rejected today, which makes good sense. I mean, you go back here and you can see it was also rejected by it right there. So keep an eye on that. That's right now valued around $7.40. If the price can push up through that level, then the next key marker from the resistance standpoint is gonna be that 200 period moving average up there at that pink line. All in all though, anyway, look at it. Very nice bounce today. Not just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward. We will see. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.